Okay, so I'm gonna try something new here for me. This is the XFX RX 480. I bought this GPU, uh, I don't know, end of 2016, the start of 2017. It's been a good card, but since then I didn't do any, you know, thermal repaste for example but I'm gonna do that now and see if I have any temperature differences so at the back actually I'm gonna first take these out because these are these are hot swap swappable Oh, there's also dust. This is how it looks like. You see the cooler and a lot of dust. So at the back, we have four screws. And they probably hold the cooler together. So these four. One, two, three, four. And two of them have a sticker saying the warranty is voided if you remove these. But I don't have any warranty anymore, so I do want to get rid of these stickers. And I don't know how. Can I just. Oh, yeah, I can. No need to remove them, just put your screwdriver in and. Uh, the benchmark before on the GPU to um, make the, uh, the paste a bit hotter so it would be easier to take it off so as I said I'm not sure which screws I need to take out but I'm just gonna wiggle Okay, I see... Yeah, there's two more screws. These two has to, has to um, be unscrewed also. Now it should be... Fine. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Thermal paste. Uh, thermal pads. And the thermal paste, which is, yeah, it's very hard. The edges. Then on the GPU itself. It's yeah, like the the corner at the bottom is not really covered with paste. It's just yeah, other than that corner, everything but the corner. There are no thermal pads anywhere except for the memory. 
So to clean the thermal paste, I have these Arctic bottles. There's a one and a two. The first one, you just have to um, put some droplets on the thermal paste and let it work in for some minutes. Actually some seconds, like a, for a minute or so. And then you can, yeah, clean it right off. So first, you're going to start with a cooler. And you just have to, yeah. The same for the GPU. It's gonna be precise and not too much. That's one. I'm only gonna do one and see. Let it work in a bit and yeah. It will come right off. Okay, after some minutes, it's worked in. Now we're just gonna scrape it off. I'm gonna do it with a paper towel. I mean, it's not the worst thing. Some say you can use coffee filters, but it's just for the cooler. Look at that, it just, yeah. There we go, just as new. Now same for the GPU. It's on there, but now I have to be very careful. second part is just using number 2 from the Arctic cleaning kit is the purifier so before applying other thermal paste you can purify the space you've cleaned after the first um, droplets And then after some seconds just clean it again. Okay now the second step is just putting the thermal paste back on and for that I'm using the Arctic MX4, as you see here, thermal compound. Um, you can do a dot or a P, but I'm gonna do, I'm not actually sure, I'm gonna do an X. Yeah, that's not a good X, but other. Better too much than, I, than too less, I, can, I think. As you see, an X. 
until spread out once you put the cooling block on it. So and that's also the next step. So I didn't detach the fan, so I'm just gonna put it back on. the fans back also I cleaned them the fans so they should be out of dust and uh, so it's hot swappable so this has to line up this has to line up with this thing otherwise yeah it won't have power And the same on the other side. Oh. There we go. And it's back. Now I'm very curious if we will have a temperature improvement and if it's even working. <laughs> 